Hey guys, welcome back to my cooking show. Today we're doing something that no man has done before, as far as I know. I like hot Cheetos and I like ice cream, you know, so one plus one is three. I've never made this before, but I'm convinced that how could we go wrong? We are making hot Cheetos homemade ice cream. It's gonna be, I figure it's gonna be kind of like, you know, Mexican hot chocolate and they make it a little spicy and sweet. So that's what today's all about. So let's make rock solid ice cream. I'm like, I happen to be amazing at making ice cream. So I think this is gonna be stellar. Um, follow my recipe and it will be delicious. First thing we wanna do is in a saucepan, I'm going to get my cream and my whole milk. And I'm gonna add half of my sugar and the vanilla. So this we're gonna get on a medium heat and I want it to get it bubbling and boiling. And while that heats up, I'm gonna take the remaining sugar and add it to our four egg yolks. And just give that a whisk. We want a bit of a light colored paste to form. Let's see, it gets nice and pale, just like that. Okay, so our cream is heated up and now I'm going to take it off the heat. I'm gonna add a little bit of our boiling milk cream mixture to our eggs. This is called tempering the eggs. We're gonna gradually bring them up to temperature so that we don't scramble them. So in a nice thin stream, I'm gonna do about a quarter cup to a third of a cup and whisk that thoroughly. Try not to scramble the eggs, that's just enough. And now they're not gonna be as shocked when we put them back in the saucepan. At this point, I'm gonna add in some Cheeto dust, I think. I was trying to figure out how are we gonna incorporate this hot Cheetos flavor actually into the ice cream itself. So I've mortar and pestled some flaming hot Cheetos there and I'm gonna add them in. Now I'm very aware that these are gonna go soggy, which is why I thought maybe dust is better than actually adding in full Cheetos. We're just gonna top it with full Cheetos later. Hopefully this will infuse the flavor. So the Cheetos are going in, give that a mix. This is looking great already. I'm gonna get this back on the heat and the key temperature that we're looking for is 165. 165 is gonna ensure that our eggs are fully cooked and it's gonna make sure we have a smooth velvety ice cream. So it can be between 165 and 180, but I always like kind of going on that bottom end because if you go a little bit hotter, you might scramble your eggs and have to start over. Bummer. That looks perfect. All right, so the ice cream base is made. The hardest part is done and it was easy. Um, this is now going to rest for about 10 hours or so. I really want the Cheeto flavor to infuse and I normally let my base rest for quite some time because I want everything to kind of amalgamate and be friends before we put it in the ice cream maker. So I'll be back here in several hours with our hot Cheeto base. All right, so it is several hours later and our hot Cheeto ice cream base is nice and chilled. Uh, it's taken on this lovely fleshy color, which I actually think might look cool because we're gonna sprinkle some hot Cheetos on top so it will be on theme. Right now it's a little not appealing and I haven't tasted it yet, so it's gonna be a big reveal at the end. All right, this is my ice cream machine. I'm going to get the blade in. I'm going to get the top on. And for my machine, I have to turn it on while I pour the base in. Just follow your manufacturer directions. All right, and now we leave it for half an hour to become ice cream. You guys, we have hot Cheetos ice cream. I'm gonna get this guy off. Now, what I like to do is transfer it to a Tupperware and let it freeze a little more solidly because then it will be easier to scoop, but it's totally edible now if you wanted to test it. I'm gonna wait for the final one. So I'm gonna get it out of here and pop into a Tupperware to then be frozen for about two to three hours. And I'm gonna top it with a little bit more Cheeto. I don't know, just because I thought it would look cool. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> exactly like you put your nose into a bag of Cheetos that has been sitting in the freezer. I don't know, I don't know, is it gonna be savory or is it gonna be sweet? We did add that vanilla, which I thought, like vanilla and cheese, they like each other, don't they? Cheesecakes have vanilla. All right, here we go, cheers guys. It looks good. Mmm, mmm, wow. Oh, it's spicy. Holy crap, I think that's good. The, the ice cream part is like cereal milk. It's like Frosted Flakes cereal milk, only they weren't Frosted Flakes, they were hot Cheetos. This is insane. It's cheesy, which is delightful, spicy, delightful, sweet and creamy. I, love, I like this. You should make it. You should 
get the recipe, tastemate.com, wherever you get it, make it for yourself. I think you're gonna be pretty blown away. This is delicious. I'm gonna put it in a cone and go eat it on the patio. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and this recipe, and I will see you next time.